Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad. And welcome... ...to Boomerang Fu. A chaotic, yet simple game. It's a lot of fun. It's, it doesn't even cost that much, it's on the Switch, as I don't know what else is possibly on. But this is just amazing. This is, this is a very... It's so good, and it's something that you probably won't find if you're not looking for it. But you might. But anyway, this game is a game up to six players on Nintendo Switch. You can connect six Joy-Cons, which is very strange for a Switch game. But anyway, let's press A to join. And you can see that, that, that you have the six players thing there. When you have six Joy-Cons attached, the uh, the lights on the, the controller looks really interesting because it actually has... Like, sometimes it'll have multiple dots or it'll... Like, in different positions, or it'll have the dot in a different position. It's, it's so... You have to see it to know what I'm talking about. Uh, but anyway, we have all these different characters that we can pick from. It doesn't change anything off the gameplay. It just changes how you look and what color you are. So let's pick the milk carton, I guess, for now. It's quite amusing when you have some characters because the way that they die, they like die differently. Like the uh, the um, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. This one, it's it's stone falls rolls out when it dies, which is funny. And if you have a liquid-based character, when you die, you, all of your liquid spills out on the ground. Although that's normal for each character anyway. Uh, but since I'm by myself, I'm going to add some bots, which we can add up to five, because you have to be able to fill up all the slots if you want to. Uh, and I'm going to set them to probably hard, since I'm probably going to wipe the floor with easy, and I'm probably going to just win with medium bots. So hard is probably the way I want to go, but they are pretty good at the game, so you probably want to start on at least medium for your first game. But anyway, let's hold to begin, and let's go. We're gonna do free for all for now. Everyone is an enemy. Uh, modifiers, I've got match length standard. Vic kill, uh, victory condition is kills. So, most kills wins. You can also do last person standing, which is interesting. Uh, but kills is what you want. Uh, so, I'll ex probably explain that once we actually get through a few rounds. One more round I'm gonna turn on because that's probably good for the first game you have playing. And even if you're, if you're playing with friends, you probably wanna have that on automatically. Water balance, I guess, yeah, that will have that. It gives shields to losing players, so people with less points get shields uh, just around them. Sudden death time limit, two minutes. Okay. I don't know what that means. It, that's not really been a thing I've ever thought about. Available power-ups, we're going to have all, going to have power-up spawn rate as, as normal. You could turn it up or turn it down, but normal is pretty good. Boomerangs, the main feature of the game. Gonna have pull back on, so you can throw them and then pull them back. Uh, homing is also quite helpful, and I'm gonna explain that as well. So let's go in to the game. So here we are. We are the milk on the bottom of the screen. Left stick to move. B to dash. Uh, so that's the down button. Uh, A to slash, which is the right button. And X to throw, which is the top button. You can also throw using the left button. No, the right button. And I think you can also possibly dash with another button too. I'm gonna just quickly check to make sure I'm correct about that. Okay, you can kick with the um, right button. You can also taunt with the the, uh, the top right button. Uh, so ZR, you can do use to slash with your boomerang. Or you can just use Y to slash with your boomerang. You want to take out enemies like that, a lot, probably. You can also use B to dash, which is like a jump dash thing, which can be good for getting around. X to throw, we can hold it down as well to charge it up and throw it further. If you're aiming near an enemy, but they, it misses, the boomerang has uh, homing on in the modifiers, so it will slightly curve towards them. If your boomerang doesn't come back to you, you also need to hold down X or... Oh... Our, our, the R button is how to dash. I'm guessing that means that ZR is how to use your boomerang like that. Okay. I'm learning things. Also, we hit a switch 
which is good. Ah, I died. That's fine. The warm up round doesn't have any points to worry about, so you can just get used to playing. If you have just, if you have no bots, it makes it easier to learn, as well. Ah, uh, but now let's head into this and see what I can do. There's a lot of stuff on the screen, but the bots don't need to worry about that as much. Oh, I died, but I got the yellow. Carrot was last person standing, but they didn't get. Uh, they only got one kill, so... You get points for each kill in this modifier settings. Uh, if you have it set to last person standing, I'm assuming the only person left standing will probably get a point, so... Also, grey boomerangs on the ground which are left by other players can be picked up, so that's very important to know. So you can get an extra boomerang. I think you only get it for the round that you pick it up, though. I don't think you keep it. Unless I'm mistaken, which I would be quite happy for. Yeah, it's just the... The one round. Wow, these bots are really good at destroying me right now. But I have the most points tied with the carrot. Person to get the most points by the end wins. Like once you reach the end of the bar, you win. Um, also, it once you have your last kill that you need. Oh, I'm in trouble. I can't pull back my boomerang when I'm being chased. When you get your last kill, it doesn't matter if the game's still going and there are people alive, it will just end. So there can only be one winner, usually, I'm pretty sure. I'm not doing too well right now. There are also switches now that we need to deal with, which we can just activate to absolutely destroy our enemies, basically. Kills done by crushing enemies using a switch will count, which is very nice. Also, that person just hit a item, I believe. That's that question mark book on the ground, which activated Battle Royale, which means that all players have to go into the area. Otherwise, if you're out, otherwise you'll die because there's actually a, a, um, like a... There's a boundary and you have to stay within the realm of the boundary, otherwise if you're out, outside of the boundaries for too long, you'll just implode, basically. Anyway, I got an item which I've got is caffeinated, which allows me to run faster, which means I can do uh, quite a few things. Also, I've got dash through walls now, which means I can dash through walls, exactly what it says. I'm gonna grab this. Oh, explosive boomerang. You also get up to three power-ups. You also, I believe, lose them if you're not careful, which I think means... Like, I don't know what it is exactly. I think it's when you win too much or die too much, or if it's just been too many rounds. I don't know. Um, but we've got a lot of good power-ups. You can also mix different powers sometimes, if you have the right stuff. I need to be careful because I'm outside the boundary. Dash through walls is powerful. Also, teleport boomerang is very powerful. Oh, I just got teleport boomerang. So whenever... I, I need to explain teleport boomerang now. Teleport boomerang means that whenever you throw your boomerang out and press B to dash, it actually replaces your dash with teleporting to your boomerang. So you need to be very careful with that. Oh, really? That was a well played done thing by that banana. I can't believe I'm getting beaten up by a banana peel. Or banana, you know. Uh, luckily he's got a shield because reasons. He might have got it from a power-up, possibly. Okay, good, 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 Oh, bad. No, no, no! How am I this far out? Oh my goodness, dash through walls. Uh, if you dash through an object that's too long, uh, you'll just keep bouncing through it until you reach the end of it. But because I bounced in a certain way through into that out-of-bounds area, it thought- it, apparently that whole area up there is just a wall, and apparently I just kept going and died. But anyway, that's fine. I need to be careful though. Uh, but yeah, teleport boomerang replaces your dash, so you need to be extra careful with that. Oh, I need to be very careful with that. Very nice, double kill. You can also get triple kill, of course, and all the other ones, but it's- it's very tight window. It's a very small window of time to get combos. Not that combos really do anything. Other than possibly achievements at the end, which are just interesting extra stats after the end of our game. Ah! And while I'm waiting for this round to end... Oh, Battle Royale, that's gonna be interesting. Especially since the platforms move. Uh, this game has a free demo, and it's pretty good. It doesn't have all of the power-ups that you can possibly get, but it's pretty solid just as a demo. And you can still play it with people, so... Very nice, very nice. I need to be careful. I need to be so careful. We've also got these 
uh, portals that I don't think I mentioned before. You go in the same colored one and you end up out of the same colored one. It's pretty self-explanatory. Ooh. Oh, teleport boomerang, thank you. Oh, that's bad, I got frozen. Also, if you collide... Oh... If you collide... Oh, why can't I pull my boomerang back? I don't have a boomerang, this is unfair. This is super unfair. Give me that, pick it up, thank you. Oh, that was so close to death. Okay, charge that up. Nice, he went into the explosion blast. Just need one more kill to win. This is a very chaotic game to explain while playing it. You, you probably understand just from seeing it happen though. You can also, so you can actually slash at boomerangs that are in midair to knock them off course, which will be annoying because people have to actually go manually pick them up. Uh, usually you can just press hold down the X button to pull it back to you. Um, otherwise, if you both slash at each other at the same time, you'll actually, like, collide. You won't kill each other, you just, like, stop each other at the same time. Oh my goodness, this, this piece of fruit. Oh, decoy. Whenever you dash with decoy, it spawns in a clone of you that'll just roam around randomly. Probably will walk off an edge at some point. Uh, you can only spawn in one per round, and once it's gone, it's, you know... Have to wait for the next round. Uh, but you, also, you can also usually tell which one's the real one in multiplayer. Sometimes. But it's still quite interesting. Now let me just do that. And get the win. Very nice. So that's basically how a round of that goes. <laughs> it's, it's very chaotic. Uh, but here's all the achievement stats that we have at the end of a round. Also for completing a round we get a new costume unlocked which we can equip to our characters. You can also unlock different characters that you can have uh, in the game as well. Except I think you can only use certain ones at a certain time. Uh, but anyway, I was the vengeful ghost. Also the trash compactor pro because I use the switches more than the computers. And the artful dodger. Banana was icebreaker because he had, I think he had the ice power up possibly. Karate master, that means he was dashing into the most people, I'm pretty sure, possibly. Because when you dash into somebody, you actually stun them. Just not even using your boomerang, you just dash into them to stun them. Most enthusiastic. Quite interesting. Most unarmed. Oh, rest in peace. Watermelon. Uh, carrot was Rambo. I don't know what that means. Uh, pushy. I, I feel like that's... I feel like I've got something wrong here, because that seems a lot like Karate Master. And possibly Karate Master might be dashing and slashing, because you can do that at the same time, and it's very effective. Most chilled probably means got frozen the most. Anyway, let's go into a rematch. Whenever you go into a rematch, it doesn't have the explan- It doesn't have the explanation how to play again. Uh, and it starts spawning power-ups straight away, because otherwise you won't have them spawning all at once. Okay, let me grab that boomerang. Thank you. And you be careful here. You can also do rebound shots. To try and do things. Oh, he got bamboozled. That means he's, his controls were inverted. Bamboozled is a very mean power-up to get. Because it looks like a normal power-up when you pick it up, but it's it's bad for you. Uh, I'm gonna try not to die. Ow, he got multi-boomerang. That one's a powerful one, because you throw a boomerang and it splits up into many. But the downside is you have to go pick them up, or pull them all back to you, before you can throw another boomerang again, or slash at an enemy. So it's it's got its drawbacks. Very much. This can combine with other power-ups as well, like teleport boomerang. Which means you can teleport all over the place and just not know where you are. Explosive boomerangs, so all of your boomerangs explode and come back to you instantly, which is very powerful. There's also stuff like uh, frozen boomerang, which will put ice in the ground to freeze your enemies and all that. And fire boomerang, which will set all of your enemies on fire. So multi boomerang is very powerful. Very powerful. So we need to be careful of that as we go forward. Okay, I need... Nope, that's not good. That's a shame. Okay. Watermelon got ice cream ring. I don't know if you can freeze yourself, but maybe you can. Didn't happen just then when the watermelon walked over it. Oh, it's raining. Very nice. I like it when it's raining. I like rain. Um, I need to be careful. Very nice. Got a kill. Let me get another one. 
Nope, I'm I'm dead. I believe you can also possibly play this online if you have to turn the switch online, possibly. I haven't checked that, but I'd, I'd love to know. Uh, there's also another power up that I'd like to see at some point in this right now, which is called Disguise. It means that whenever you're not moving, you will turn into a random, uh, like block or something. Oh, I got bean boozled. That's not good. Ah! So you'll turn into a crate or like a, a plant or a box or a pot, and you'll just you'll blend in quite well with your surroundings, basically. Uh, but depending on who you're playing with, whether it's computers or actual players, it's has it. it you can probably sometimes tell. Uh, but anyway, I need to take you out if I can, please. Please. Nope. Multi boomerang got me. Also, explosion can can combine. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, explosive boomerang can combine with ice power and fire power, so that whenever you the explosion happens, it will set your opponent on fire and set their surroundings on fire, or will freeze that area and all that. Also, I'm gonna crush you. Very nice. You can also get boomerang stuck in the middle there, so that they can't attack you. Which is an interesting strategy in that level. Um, okay, we've got portals. I might go through the blue portal in the middle. Nope, I'm dead. That's a shame. These computers have... Oh my goodness, Banana's doing quite well. I need to do something about that. Avocado, that's the one I couldn't remember the name of earlier. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot that. Uh, one of the power is also a second boomerang, which I think... One of the other characters has, but I don't. I, I, I still somehow had two boomerangs. You can only have up to two boomerangs on hand, so... You can't just keep collecting more. Oh, I do have more. The second boomerang. I've also got shield. That's... I don't know if that's because I'm losing or if that's just the power-up that I picked up at some point. Fire boomerang! Set everything on fire. Also myself, apparently. Oh, this, that's not good. Ah! Fire boomerang is... Is interesting because whenever you, whenever you get set on fire, you have to dash to put yourself out or possibly walk on the the water on the ground. That's what that is. That slide, slide makes you slide around. Oh, hang on, I need to breathe for a second. And it's very difficult to put the fire out before you die. But if there's water on the ground, take advantage of it. I'm pretty sure it's water at least. Now let me let me place a little bit safe here and be a bit of a sniper. Oh, where's my fire gone? I don't have fire anymore. Oh, I do have fire. What? I think that means I got the kill, though, on that. I think? No, maybe not. I'm not sure about that. Uh, but I do have fire boomerang, so I don't know why it wasn't activating. This one's an interesting level. Oh, frozen, 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 dash, dash, please move. Oh, no, 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 I'm fine. Oh, dear. That's not good. I almost got you if the game lasted just a little bit longer. I could have got you. You can also trade kills, so if you both kill each other, you'll still both get a point. Even if you've already got... If, even if you're the last two people standing. Please. Okay, yeah, that ground can't be set on fire because of the water or something. I nearly blew myself up. Need to stay in bounds. Oh, my goodness. There's so many things. So many things. Oh, that's not good. That's not what I want to see. Change the speed of these with the switches. Okay, we're, we're, we're doing all right. We need to bring it back though, because Banana needs one more kill, which could be either us or a bot. So let's try to take him out straight away before he gets anything. Very nice. Good, 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 good. Very nice. We just need to keep this up. We got two kills. We need four kills. We need to... I don't think we're going to win this round, but that's okay. Oh, please. No, 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 no! Oh, ah! That was the last kill, of course. The banana wins. There's all the stats. Most squashed. Oh my goodness, poor watermelon. Anyway, got a new costume for the banana. There is a lot of costumes for every character. There is a lot. Uh, but anyway, going to the... So the character selection screen words again. Uh, whenever you unlock a new character, 
you'll see the icons, or well, the characters, like the watermelon and the bread here, they have a extra colored page behind them. And if you press X to swap character, you can switch be between them. I'm pretty sure you could, this means you can't have the hot sauce and the watermelon at the same time. It has to be one or the other. Uh, also, whenever a character has a hat unlocked, they'll have uh, dots or an X above them at the top of the screen. And you press left or right or ZL or ZR to swap between the different ones. It just cycles through in a loop so you can you can just do it that way or you can just use the the markers at the top of the screen to figure out where you're up to with everything. There's a lot of costumes to unlock and I've got apparently quite a few on the donut. Um, wait, 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 swap character? Yes, I have Burger, the greatest character in the game, right behind Captain Burger. With <laughs> Yeah, I need to unlock the captain's hat first. Uh, but anyway, let's go to modifiers. I'm going to change this up a little bit since I don't want to have the warm-up round. Match like the standard, fix your condition. I think this is... I don't think I changed anything other than the warm-up round last time. Um, I could also turn up power-ups if I wanted to. Or I could set up a custom... Uh, I just set up... What's that one? Oh, that's Battle Royale, okay. Uh, telekinesis? Telekinesis is an interesting one. Whenever you get telekinesis, it means that whenever you're holding down the the throw a boomerang button while it's while your boomerang's out, which is usually how you pull it back in, it means you actually get control of the boomerang. Uh, but you have to stay still while doing it, and you can use the left stick to move it around wherever you want to. So telekinesis and multi boomerang is also a very powerful strategy. Uh, I think that's everything other than the skies that we we needed to look at, basically. So anyway, let's just stick with all. I might just stick with one times items for now. And leave everything as that is. And let's go in. Okay, Burger, I believe in you. It still shows us how to play. It's just a lot less... ...problematic. Thank you. That's, that's the good thing about having two boomerangs, because you can knock their boomerang... ...and also still kill them. Also, the music in this game is so good. It's so... It's just so... I don't want to say it's so good. Oh, please pull back. You can't have anything in the way of you and your boomerang, otherwise... It will just bounce off and you have to move. Music in this game is just so good. Also, each round doesn't start until somebody presses a button to move on to the next round. So, when the, when the round ends, you can actually just see the points and then watch the replay of the end of the game as over, as much as you want until you want to continue. Anyone can press a button to continue, but you probably want to wait for everyone to be ready. It's, it's just nice that you can leave and do something else while waiting. Ho, ho, pee. No, I got two kills because I had a, I picked up the grey boomerang on the ground. Oh, you only get grey boomerangs to spawn in if they are out when the person is killed and not picked up again. Nope, that's not good. <laughs> I was trying to get the extra kills by crushing them, but I was too focused on crushing them that the watermelon got me. Uh, okay. Thank you. Nope, I tried to dash out of the way. You have to have very fast reflexes in this game to actually get this good. But the interesting thing about this game that I found is you don't have to be... You don't have to have played this to actually be good at it. You can be good of good at the game just by mashing buttons, basically. Oh, double kill. No! Ah! Still winning. Still doing very well. Okay. Let me see if I can take out... Oh, I need to be careful. Oh, I need to be very careful. Oh, I need to be so careful. How am I still alive? I don't know. How are they still alive? Okay. 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 Nope. I'm dead. Oh, I've oh no. The avocado is still there. Oh, he got telekinesis. Very nice. Is he going to use it though? Nope. He's just going to fall right into the pit. I think if you jump off an edge, you don't give the opponent another point. Uh, sometimes you'll lose a point though if you kill yourself. In certain ways, so you have to be careful about that. 
Okay. Need to be careful. <laughs> Not like that. I love how when you die, just ev all of the, the bits of you just fall apart everywhere and spill out. This game is so well made. It's so simple and it's amazing. The format is just flawless. Oh, give me that. Fire Boomerang. If you have Fire Boomerang and there's plants around, sometimes you'll actually set them on fire, which can be dangerous. Oh, that's not good. His boomerang still got me even after death. At least we traded kills, so I still got the kill and he got the kill. But that's not, that's not, a, it's not terribly good for me because it means he still has a chance of winning. I need my boomerang and it's on a, it's across the map, so I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. I'm somehow still alive. Rounds can last a long time as well. Oh, he got disguise. I don't know how helpful that's going to be to a computer, though. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Burn. Oh, yes. We're doing it. We're so close. We just need four more kills. We've we've got this. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to say we've got this in the bag, but we're we're, we're doing. We're doing pretty well. Okay, decoy. Well, I know which one's the real one now, because one of them still has a shield. Okay. I probably shouldn't set myself on fire, that would not be good. Oh, shield, very nice. Oh, yes, 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 yes! Burn! This is very good. Oh, wow, I only got one kill that round. The... The watermelon still has a very good chance of winning this. Ow. That didn't even get anything. multi boomerang. That's not good. Has to pull them all in, though. Which doesn't work for me- for him. You could also throw- he could have also thrown his boomerang through the portal to try and get a kill like that. Now... Oh boy. Thank you. I can't set things on fire because there's water on the ground. I need to be careful here. That was almost good. Telekinesis? Maybe. Just need to not let him get to me. Play the long game. Come on. Oh, oh no! Ah! I was doing so well too. Just need two more kills. Pog, here we go. Okay, let's go, 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 go. If I can get to the switch, I might just be able to get a kill right off the bat. Oh yeah! Oh no. <laughs> I think somebody else got those. Oh no! Did I get no kills? I got one kill somehow. I don't know how that works. That's fine. Okay, just need one more kill. Just one more kill. Just one more kill. I can do this and just annoy everybody. Nope. That didn't work very well. I got killed while well, trying to molt- uh, trying to telekinesis. That's the one. There's so many things to keep track of. Oh my goodness, please don't let Watermelon win. He needs three more kills, which means that if he clean sweeps everyone... Okay, we're good. Whew, that was a good round. This game is so much fun and it's so well- it's just so good. Trash compactor, fire starter, most enthusiastic. Pretty good. Bacon got sniper. That's pretty good. Burger with glasses. Also, I'm assuming that means that bread has separate unlockable hats to me as Burger. There's so many things to unlock and I want to unlock them all, but it's going to take forever. Anyway, this has been Boomerang Fu. I'm going to probably keep playing this because there's a few more modes to this. And also, I love this game and I just want to play it a whole bunch for no reason, basically. But anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.